Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Here in Thailand, it's 3.15 p.m. in the afternoon. Outside, it's about 33 degrees Celsius. And I'm inside with air conditioning because it's a bit hot otherwise. All right, I came across a wonderful article that will help all content marketers, online marketers that need great content for their website, for their videos, or anything. It's called 25 Plus Content Editing Tips and Tools. Go through this article. I will post the link right under the video later. And uh, this is something we will go through. But first, I would like to show you something I created today. And basically, it's a new Facebook group, Work From Home Lab with Steve Ranji, me, where I will help you become an online entrepreneur free to work from anywhere on the planet. If you don't know me, I've been working for several, several years on my own. I started in 2005 with uh, a lot of AdSense and uh, Google sites. And uh, over the years, I created tons of uh, websites. I haven't, I haven't been uh, on the work from home, uh, let's say, internet marketing niche. Sorry for the noise outside in Thailand. It's uh, when there are some funerals, uh, they make these uh, big uh, uh, fireworks, not fireworks, but it's uh, some, some shooting three times. It's very loud. We are not too far from the temple. Anyway, I didn't work a lot on the internet marketing niche, but for the past year, I started to make more and more reviews and uh, I decided to create a group, a private group where I will share tons of things. And feel free to go to this group. Uh, let me just share the link. Here it is. It should appear on the screen now. It's called work from home lab. So in Facebook groups, just work from home lab, and that's it. It will be a pleasure, a pleasure to see you inside. Now back to our article. Let me share it. Okay, here it is. Okay, I think you can see it. I will maybe remove this Facebook group thing. Okay. Right. If your livelihood depends on creating great content on a consistent basis, the content editing is one tool you can't live without. And here we will go through 25 plus practical tips and tools that you can start using immediately. So what is content editing versus copy editing? So content editing in itself, it's basically an examination of several elements, including spelling, punctuation, verb tense, and basic rules of English. So just to make sure that your article is uh, in proper uh, English or any language that you, you write, basically. While the content editing comes first and focuses on several elements that are the target audience, theme, flow, layout, and format, and conciseness of your article, and consistency. So it's different. We will see how to use content editing, editing right below. And here, you can see that this is an article made by a pro. And what they do, 
it is that they also add call to actions in their article. And here there is a good call to action right on the top of the article where you can have a, a giveaway, something for free. And then they will get you on your list, on their list probably. Okay. Now back to the content editing tips. So first you will have to determine the format type and the type of content that you are going to create. Uh, there are different tones or formats that you can use. Like if you, for example, wanted to inform readers in details, you would use a, an expository format. While if you want to convince a reader to buy your services, you will use a persuasive format. And there are different formats which are here, expository, descriptive, narrative, persuasive, and creative. You will get the link to this article below the video so that you can check it by yourself, keep it, print it, if you want. Then you start by, by creating an outline to get an idea of your content. And it can be a pretty simple outline with bullet points like uh, our numbers here. You could compare this to maybe a table of content. Okay, so here I will know that I have to go into those topics. Or you could use an informal outline, which is a little bit more detailed, where you add some detail about each specific sections, a few lines that will help you create your content. And you do this for each paragraph or, let's say, bullet point. Some like to use an outline tree. Let me refresh my page because I'm using the, this editing. Uh, OK, no. I need to refresh the page because there, is, there isn't enough data for the screenshot. OK, that should make it. Let's do it again. And back to, where are we? Oh, sorry for that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm too low. That's the beauty of live things. OK, let's go. OK, here is the content tree. I will try to get back my pen, my highlighter. Okay, this is basically a kind of mind map that you can use. Some people who like uh, visual pictures, they will structure the content like this using a kind of mind map. Okay, or a formal outline, which is basically the same, but just in a kind of list. So. This is less visual for sure. Depending on your type of uh, creation, or if you are a visual person, you would, maybe you want to use this one. Okay. All right. Um, content editing process chart. Okay, here they just showcase this mind map that they used. It's the tool they used for that. OK, my map. Then we want to check the, this is how they create these mind maps. So basically, easy like a pie. You can just uh, create nodes and get to the next step and link them. That's pretty easy. OK. Don't sweat the small stuff. Most writers do not worry too much about spelling, punctuation. Word of choice during the initial drafting stages. Yeah, it means that you should more focus on the flow and the structure of your article. Get the thing done. Put your article in place and then come back later with uh, spelling checks and grammar tools. So you have to first do all the job and at the end you can come back. That's a good way of being. 
productive. Also, you need to focus on uh, voice and brand consistency. So if you have a brand with uh, trademark colors, logos, trade lines, etc., you need to be consistent so that people, they recognize your uh, logo, they know that it's your style, things like that. Like you can see on my, uh, here on the top, I think you see my mouse. I have my SG logo. This is uh, something I use everywhere. So when you will see this, you will know it's me. Yellow and red, that's my Steph Grungy logo, okay? Parallel structuring, this is uh, something a little bit different. Usually in one paragraph, uh, you should contain the, the main ID, but some people now think it's a good practice to break up uh, in smaller para paragraphs uh, that are more bite-sized. So, like for complex topics, incorporate parallel structuring will keep the readers engaged, okay? Use smooth transitions as well, like uh, before I started with first, I would like to show you my new uh, Facebook group, okay? Use things like in addition, in contrast, next, then, etc., etc. okay? Use those transition words. They are good to go from one topic to another and use conclusions as well. Try to hook the readers from the beginning because you only have a few seconds to capture their attention. If you miss that, they will uh, they will leave your site for sure. It's the same with video, video content, video marketing. If you if you are not able to to get your uh, reader hooked very quickly or your uh, viewer, they will leave and maybe never come back. <laughs> Hopefully not. Okay, use call to actions. You saw on the top, I showed you that uh, there was a freebie. This is a call to action, but you can use call to action at the bottom of the post. You could connect on social, like I told you. I would like you to use my um, Facebook group, come to my group, so that you can get some nice tips, freebies. Let me see if I can. Yeah, give you, okay. I will put it here. So if you are watching this video on uh, Vimeo or uh, YouTube, you will find my group, okay? Let's make it like this. <laughs> I'm using a new live tool called the BeLive.tv. It's pretty nice. And uh, it has those kind of things that are kind of funny and nice, but Maybe a bit distracting. Tell me, I want to know that in my feedback, or uh, you can put that in the comment. And just before, since it's one of my first lives, I made, I already made this video. I shot it, and after a few minutes, when I put in full, uh, I put my uh, screen showing the article in full uh, page. The, there was no sound. If I want to get sound, I need to have this small picture in picture here, where I am, and uh, like here, down. Otherwise, it won't work. So pretty crazy. It was a 25 minutes video, and I have to redo it. But that's life. Let's be positive. I got a little bit better maybe this time. No idea, you will tell me. I hope you can understand myself. You know that uh, my first language is French, all right? I'm Swiss, I'm not French, but uh, I'm from the French-speaking part of Switzerland. So we are getting lost. Let's go back to our topic. Use storytelling. Basically, it's what I'm doing now. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes that you can make is to assume that because you're writing a nonfiction, you're not uh, telling a story. Okay, we are talking about content marketing. It isn't a fiction, but I talk about Thailand, I talk about Switzerland. We tell a story. 
we tell people that they can work from anywhere in the world. This is what makes people dream, you know, and follow you, hopefully. Okay, and be focus on transparency, be honest also, huh? always begin, begin with a hook, give meaning to a product that is otherwise impersonal, incorporate before and after situation, highlighting the benefits of the product you are showcasing. Like uh, in this article, the benefit will definitely be that you will get tools below that you can use and also that you will get more organized and better at content creation. All right. Make sure that you examine examine your uh, articles from a cell phone or tablet. Basically, let me show you. Your content always has to be mobile friendly. Otherwise, uh, if people can't see your content, uh, of course, they won't come back. Uh, I'm using a tool in Chrome. Like here, you can maybe, let's check my website. This is where you can also see stevelangy.com. It's a bit slow because of the video I'm shooting. I'm using a tool where I can check if my site is mobile friendly, you see? It's an app in uh, Chrome. You can check for a mobile app. And you will see like here, if I want to see my site. Okay. So I can see that we can display it on a mobile phone. It's pretty okay. So it works on mobile. Pretty handy thing, but always make sure that uh, you check your website from the tablet aspect or uh, from the mobile phone aspect, okay? Otherwise you will lose a lot of traffic because in 2018, almost 60% of the visits to websites were from phones or mobile devices, according to Proficient Digital. Also consider hiring a professional content editor. You can outsource. There is absolutely, absolutely no shame in outsourcing your editing work because if you don't have the skills, if you are not a professional in a specific topic, instead of losing tons of time and producing bad content, simply outsource. Use uh, one of the websites that are shown below. Uh, you can get pretty cheap work. Well, cheap shouldn't be seen as a bad uh, connotation, but uh, not expensive, let's say. It all depends. You, you have to test, but if you don't have the skills, outsource, okay? Now, time to see what are those content editing tools and software. Mind map, that was the thing we saw before for the mind map. You can use Grammarly. It's free. Personally, I use the free edition. You can put it on Chrome. Uh, you can put it on your mobile phone. Uh, it will check quite a few grammar and spelling checks that uh, standard uh, application applications within uh, Google or so they don't always show you as good as Grammarly does. I wouldn't go for the paid version personally, but you, bah, I don't know. But uh, basically the free version is pretty good as well. Evernote, to organize your notes in a, in a, ah, in a place that you can uh, come back and uh, all putting all your notes under the same hood. Okay. Asana. Asana is a project management system 
which is a very user friendly. You can use a free version, as I believe, as well. It's very popular. Let me reload that. Okay. Okay. I have to reload the page to be able to use my highlighter. Okay. Then a good one is the online dictionary and thesaurus like. At the very beginning, we spoke about this mundane content. <laughs> like, what is mundane? It's a common or ordinary, banal, in an imaginative content. And you don't want to get that. So you can use this uh, dictionary.com or thesaurus. Thesaurus will give you synonyms. Huh? I'm hungry. What synonym will you? Give me eager, greedy, keen. It depends on the context always. The most relevant are highlighted in yellow. Okay. Now, Canva, it's a design tool where you can uh, edit pictures, you can create banners, you can do lots of things, cool stuff. Free version is pretty good. There is a paid version. I believe you use uh, it mainly to get uh, images, stock images that are paid. After the deadline is another tool that will help you write better. And stack edit is also another tool to improve your writing experience. Anyway, that makes your writing bold and clear. Okay. Copyscape is a good one. If you want to check if your uh, content is reused by others without giving attribution, or maybe you don't want people using your content or copy, some people are pretty bad and they, they simply use pictures, anything, and they don't even give credit. If it's the case, you can check with this uh, Copyscape and file a complaint in, uh, if, uh, if people uh, steal your content without giving attribution, OK? This uh, Schleifender is a text verification tool. So this is the sleeping rabbit, OK? <laughs> if my German is correct. <laughs> and you can use content editing services, basically, in Geofish Digit Digital. And here, we are on Geofish Digital website. And as they talked about their call to action, this is exactly what they do. They put a, an article a section in their article showcasing their product, the stuff they sell. OK? You can use Fiverr, which was very cheap in terms of expenses. It was $5 for one service, basic services for anything you can find people doing anything over there. Now it's a bit more expensive. It's more no more $5, I believe. You can use Upwork. This will be a little bit more expensive. It's all about outsourcing, huh? right here. So to find freelancer to do the content marketing or anything you want, they will do related to online marketing. Upwork uh, gives a uh, better quality freelancer as well, but they are a little bit more expensive. Okay, so this video is how long now? Oh, 25 minutes. It's about time to wrap up, which will be the conclusion. So here, one more time, we can see that Cody Slingerland has done a great, great, great article. He puts his signature. That's nice. And they also have a call to action in here where they showcase their service. If you want 
us to create content for you, get in touch with us. Okay. I will give you this link under the video. Make sure that you connect to my Facebook group. I will see you in there. If you have questions, you just shoot a topic, you ask for something. If you are on YouTube, make a thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you very soon. It was Steph Ganji from Thailand presently. I hope you have a great day. And let me just come back a little bit here. Okay. Have a great day. I wish you all the best and get your dreams. Working online is wonderful, but you have to focus and put the work in. Bye bye. Hey, take care. Bye.